Hey guys, what's going on? Steve, I'm back again, and it's time for episode 13. Can you believe that? Episode 13 already? Only a few more episodes, and then we are done with part 2, part B, whatever you want to call it, and then the wait for the very last part, and then the end of The Walking Dead. Crazy. So, last episode was very good. Uh, Commonwealth went over to, um, you know, Oceanside to be like, Hey, come and join us, you know? We'll do all this stuff for you, you know? Because apparently Alexandria has already, I don't want to say fallen in line, but has aligned themselves with the Commonwealth because they're getting all the food, all the supplies to rebuild, people to help them rebuild and stuff like that. So they were kind of going from, you know, other communities, Oceanside, hey, come and, come and join us. And they're like, um, did Hilltop join you? No? Well, we're going to kind of, we're going we're gonna to stick with them for right now. If they join you, then we'll join you. But as of right now, uh, we're good. And then they went over to, you know, Hilltop to be like, hey, come and join us. Look what we got. You know, here's some supplies. We can... You know, we can help you rebuild, we can help you expand, uh, we can do all sorts of uh, security and protection for you, because, you know, some walkers attacked, and, you know, they were out there fighting them, and then the Commonwealth soldiers all lined up and, you know, took them all out in a row, like, hey, see, look at that, we can do all that for you. Uh, you know, Maggie and Pamela seem to be getting along pretty well. Uh, it was only until, um, what, Maggie was alone with lands and that's kind of when things started to not go so well and turned a little sour because it seemed like seems like lance has um other motives which we were kind of getting hints at with pamela like you know if you want to be in charge of these communities you got to get all of them or something along those lines so you know and if you're going to be in charge of them you can't let your other responsibility suffer commonwealth always comes first um and at the end you know maggie's like no nah, we're good and then she lost a couple of people who are like you know kind of don't want to be living like this anymore um you know yeah you're right to be a little cautious on trusting people but you also do need you know to trust people uh, we don't want to be living like this anymore, you know, the, hey, they got all this stuff, and, you know, here we are, like, barely getting by, so, yeah, so a couple of them left, only, like, three people, Diane, I think, being, like, the only named one, and then, like, two other randos, so, I mean, it's not like she lost a lot of people, <laughs> you know, just three randos leaving, well, two randos and one semi character um and then at the end there um lance was just kind of kind of i don't know a little a little off his uh, his wheels at the wheels there uh at the end i kind of thought um you know when he was firing that gun i thought he was actually trying to get some walkers you know to kind of gather gather up and then he was going to kind of like lead them to hilltop and then try to try another like Hey, see, if we weren't here, you know, how would you have handled, you know, all these walkers, you know, at your walls and stuff like that? I mean, see, if we were here, you know, we can take care of these. But no, he was just, you know, kind of just randomly just popping them off and Aaron comes over and, I don't know, Lance just had like a, a serial killer look to him and... What do what you say? Something like, we're going to remake the world or something? I don't know. Lance is going to be a very interesting character going forward. Um, I think he's going to be some sort of connection to, like, CRM, maybe Rick. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Pamela knows about CRM, doesn't know about, maybe knows about Rick, but doesn't know about the connection to the group and Rick and stuff. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if she knows about CRM. And, um, you know, obviously she can't do a lot of things, and that's what Lance is for. Like, Pamela can't obviously get her hands dirty because she's, like, the face. 
and you got Lance to do all the dirty work, if you will. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll have to um, wait and see what happens with that. Uh, I believe they are fin finishing filming the last episode. I believe uh, filming is going to be ending uh, pretty damn soon. Mm -hmm. All right, so anyways, that's enough talk. Let's get on to episode 13 called Warlords. Maggie, Lydia, and Elijah help a stranger from another community called Riverbend. They run into Aaron, who tells them about a mission he embarked on with Gabriel as emissaries for the Commonwealth. Interesting. So we have a new community called Riverbend. Sounds pretty cool. All right, anyways, on to the episode. Here we go. All right, what do we got? Some target practice here? Oh, no way. What are we at? Right there on the top of the head. So Meet Legolas. Still winning. Okay, what in the hell happened to him? He's been shot! Get help! Don't. They're slaughtering them. Who? No. And this is where he dies before he actually says who. Take this. You know, before the fall, I lived on a farm with my family and my dad. Ah, good old season two. The farm developers started knocking on their doors, trying to buy us out. Really? I can't say no. One day, this bad drought hit. Except this time, they offered three times what the farmers were. They knew we were hmm. getting desperate. A little bit of uh. They also knew Herschel's farm backstory. That's kind of cool. The farm had become profitable again, and all they had to do was outlast us. Oh. Well, at least you didn't crash. Alright, so what do we have here? Walker Commonwealth Soldiers. Ooh. Knife slashed right through the neck guard. Hmm. Something's going on. Shot Something. Armor gaps. Oh. Each one has different injuries. There were a lot of stunned faces when I asked all of you to sit by a stranger today, and I'm still seeing a lot of awkwardness with the arrangement. <laughs> a lot of stiff backs, clenched butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Father G's kind of rocking the, uh, the vest. Those of you that were out there in the wasteland, you were forced to see the humanity in each other. There's a group of about 40 people holed up in an apartment complex in the western border of Virginia. Ooh, 40 people. First contact and offer them help. 40, Some wow. Some folks upstairs, uh, they thought it would be a good idea if you tagged them on. Why me? Why it's not? A religious group, so. <sighs> oh, it's, um, that it's that guy from uh, Ozark. The FBI agent yeah. from, what, season <laughs> two? <laughs> Yeah, I think it was season two of Ozark. He was um, uh, the FBI agent. That's uh, that's pretty cool that he's uh, over here now. However long he's here for. Today, we're gonna make the world just a little bit better than it was yesterday. Yeah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah, no. Like that usually have some old man with a shotgun inside, just looking for an excuse to kill some dumbass who stepped on his front lawn. Get off my lawn. These screens do not disturb. Abort? Just because of some pre-game jitters? No, because your plan is shit and I don't want to die. That's all. My name is Aaron. We come from a community called the Commonwealth. We'd like to extend our friendship. May the Lord of the Black Land come okay, forth. Cool. Just the four of you? Yep. There's a group of peacekeepers nearby waiting for us to check in. And them too. That sounds scary. I kind of really want to see her use that scythe. I really do, because it looks so cool. I'm Aaron, and like I said outside, we, we come in peace. The 
Commonwealth. Man, it's, uh, it's good to see Aaron doing what he no, it's, used to like do, Commonwealth. you know, recruiting. 50,000 people live there. We have a functioning government, uh, protective walls, housing for everyone, restaurants. Hey, look at that. Aaron got an upgrade from Polaroids. Uh, He's now got an really iPhone. Whenever people see those photos, they want to live there too. You just let us in? That easy? Well... It's not easy at all, actually. Uh, there's a screening process. Toby Carlson. Hmm. Toby? Toby. Get on your goddamn knees! Oh. Well, this escalated quickly. Would I be to let you go? And you know where my home is. What do you want exactly? What do you have that we would want? Good question. This place is a shithole. Why would we want it? <laughs> Once again, Me? Father G being blunt what as usual. You think we're cannibals? Cannibals who came in with pre-packaged MREs? That's what you're going with? All we've done is given you food and water. You aren't starving right now because of us. You'll never come back. Oh, oh. Well, that escalated even further now. He was going to let us go. Shut up. Keep him hostage. Not the storm. I'll be back in the safe. I need a surgical solution. Interesting. So this whole thing was planned. Oh, man. I don't do that anymore, Lance. Come on. I need the former CIA guy who helped root out disobedient shits from here back in the day. Interesting. Okay, so he's a former CIA guy. Listen, so at least we got some backstory on him and I how like he's got all those time. moves. I get up. I meditate. How's Aaron working out? He's great. Instantly connects with people, makes my job easy. Ah, so this Do whole you know thing was set up. Stokes. Oh. See, Lance is going to be a very okay. interesting okay. So we go in, like, villain. First contact, and then since they are religious, priest gets their guard down. They let you in. They'll so this whole thing was set up, planned out. Do what you do. Hey, Dickless. <laughs> I found those weapons. Don't you think? I well, didn't get to finish the sentence. Shelf, warlord. Top shelf, dead center. How's that sound? Oh, hey, hey, where'd you go? Huh? All that talk, you died so quick. <laughs> ah, now we're getting all the blanks filled in. Oh, don't you dare kill Aaron. Swear to God, I'll be pissed. You mother... Oh, interesting. Get him, Aaron. Come on, let's go. Get him. Right in the face with that. Uh-oh. Don't move. Oh, shit. How many of you are there? He's back. Twelve. I what are they armed with? Machine guns. There's a community right here. You ask for Maggie, no one else. You tell her Gabriel and Aaron are in trouble. Go. Go. Interesting. Megan? Babe. Where are my weapons? I don't know. Wow, this is getting very no, interesting. No. Okay. I believe you. No, he doesn't. Oh! Hit each room. Kill anyone who won't talk. Copy that. What we need to do now is stick together. You can forget about giving up. Or begging for forgiveness. That ain't gonna work. But he wasn't our first leader. No? He wasn't what kept us together this long. We did. And we did it by working together as a family. 
There you go. Right now our family scattered all over this building, but you know what? We know this place better than the assholes in our house do. Uh oh. Maggie has arrived. Oh, and there's Aaron. Okay. All right, so there we go. Episode 13. Wow, that was actually a really good episode. Uh, things are getting very interesting, especially with Lance setting this whole thing up and him planning out everything and, you know, bringing Aaron and Father G and all this stuff happening and wow what is lance up to you know he's up to something i still think he's going to you know crm rick everything i bet he's the one that ties everything together i wouldn't be surprised um but yeah whole thing was uh just a complete setup and i guess uh one of the caravans or something like that and weapons were stolen and i guess they assume it was um, this group here, which uh, Negan is part of. Um, I did like how they do, you know, we saw the rider shot, bleeding, falls off, dies, and then later on in the episode, we learn, okay, this is how it happened, you know, this is what was going down. He ran away. As he was running away, one of the Commonwealth soldiers shot him right in the shoulder, or wherever, and that explains everything that happened and then learning about the map and negan's the one that gave it to him negan's back negan's with this group here um yeah yeah wow um yeah just overall one one hell of an episode i mean uh the guy from ozark there uh that his whole thing you know oh please don't kill me and then he's like you know um it was kind of like a whole I don't know, um, ruse, if you will, uh, just to, you know, make that guy think he was weaker than he was and ended up, you know, taking out like three of his guys in 10 seconds and then killing that, killing that leader. But now it's going to be interesting. I guess, uh, you know, Negan's going to be, uh, returning to the group and stuff like that. Maggie's on the way with, uh, Lydia, Aaron, and Elijah. They are in the building as well. And, um, yeah, it's just going to be very interesting to see what happens next episode when everybody just comes together and Negan and Maggie and Aaron and Father G reunite. What's going to happen with the rest of these people? Um, I'm sure they'll probably go to um, probably to Hilltop with Maggie, most likely. Uh, Negan, I don't know where he's going to go. Um, your guess is good as mine on that. I have no idea. I mean, I'm sure they'll probably let him back in, you know. Um, I'm sure that group there, that woman he was talking to will probably vouch for him or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to just wait and see where we go from here. But, um, yeah, this was a very cool episode. And I, um, I can't wait to see what happens next, especially with... Um, Oh, what was the name? Toby. Yeah, Toby. Uh, if that is his name. Um, do you know what, what's going to happen with him? Is he going to make it out alive? Uh, what's going to happen with Lance? Um, yeah, who knows? I'm just wondering what is going to happen in the... Mid? No. Mid-season finale? Part B season finale? Whatever you want to call it. Since this is mid-season, I don't know, I guess mid-season finale. Um, yeah, I wonder what's going to happen. Like, what's going to be the big cliffhanger moment of of um, of this middle part, part two, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, what's the thing that's going to keep us hooked and be like, oh, man, what the hell's going to happen now? We've got to wait for, for the final part to see what happens, you know? I have no idea what it's going to be. Um maybe next episode we'll start to set that up you know episode 14 then that leaves us two episodes left um not a clue i guess i'll have to 
wait and see and maybe like i said next episode hopefully we'll start to get some hints at uh you know where everything is is leading towards so yeah all right so anyways there we go episode 13 warlords that was a really cool episode um yeah i just can't wait for the next one now uh, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. It'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. And of course, leave me all your thoughts and comments. What did you guys think about the episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Where do you think we go from here? And what do you think we are heading towards for the mid-season finale? Let me know. Other than that, just stick around. More videos are on the way. And I will see you guys next time.